Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video we'll be talking about Brandon Coleman and how I think the Washington Commanders found another gem in this year's draft class. We'll also be talking about some of the other rookies and just overall a great performance by the Washington Commanders yesterday. If you guys are new, subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell as well. Also check out NFL All Day who is sponsoring today's video. And yeah, I made a few videos about Brandon Coleman over the season and how he's impressed, but I think he arguably had his best performance against the Arizona Cardinals yesterday. Out of all the games, I think yesterday was his best game. And we, you know, Jaden Daniels has been good and he's performed pretty well every game, but to find a franchise quarterback and a franchise left tackle in the same draft is super, super rare, especially to find a tackle in the third round. And like still, I don't want to get too ahead of myself because it is early and he really hasn't fully been starting, you know, because he's been rotating in and out with Cornelius Lucas, who also got to, you know, tip the hat off to him because he's had a, you know, very solid season as well. Uh, Brandon Coleman had an 86.6 PFF pass blocking grade yesterday the other games his grade overall wasn't that great uh this was the first game his grade was pretty well or sorry pretty good and uh i haven't gotten to watch the tape on him the other days or the other games i was able to watch the tape and i thought he played better than the grade that pff gave him but it is what it is you take pff with a grain of salt it's just an, like another indicator you have a bunch of different indicators and Yesterday, no sacks allowed, and uh, the week before, they allowed two, I believe. One was on Coleman, but it's against Trey Hendrickson, so you kind of, like, PFF doesn't grade with a curve, but sometimes you do have to grade with a curve a little bit, but yeah, Brandon Coleman was good. Getting some attention from not, like, Daniel Jeremiah doesn't tweet out, like, a lot. He'll tweet out maybe a few times uh, a week. Like besides promoting his own stuff and his podcast. So for him to put out a tweet saying Jaden Daniels isn't the only rookie Adam Peters hit on during the 2024 draft. Brandon Coleman played great at left tackle versus Arizona. That's some high praise. And, you know, he's, you know, he definitely, you know, noticed that during the game. I, I guess, you know, today he put out some stuff. But like, yeah, it, he doesn't put out a lot. Like he didn't put out any tweets yesterday. Uh, during the game so uh, that's some high praise from Daniel Jeremiah who obviously was a former scout in this league has been uh, doing a lot of NFL draft stuff for a while now for NFL Network uh, someone in the comments there also talking about Luke McCaffrey who had a solid day I mean he really had just had one catch but it was a good catch and a good throw by Jaden Daniels I've been impressed by him as well some other stats on Brandon Coleman Lowest pressure rates allowed by rookie offensive linemen in week four. And you look at him, he allowed zero on 18, or allowed zero pressures on 18 pass block snaps. So shout out to Brandon Coleman there, has had a good season so far, and he's coming off an injury from, you know, the off season, which was unfortunate because he wasn't able to, you know, fully participate in training camp. Like he started doing it the first couple weeks, but then got hurt. It wasn't able to play in training or in a, in the preseason and that slowed his development down a little bit and, you know, made it so that they didn't want to start him right away. They didn't want to start him right away. They wanted to rotate him in and out with uh, Cornelius Lucas, which it ended up being the right thing. I kind of was hating on it because I just didn't really like a rotation of guys. I just don't think that's the best. But hey, they they knew better. They they know better. They're they're every day in practice, so they know. Uh, so you know, shout out to them for making that really a good decision. But yeah, Brandon Coleman, he has been looking good at left tackle. He's very very athletic. His vertical leap for an offensive lineman is off the charts. Is forty times sub five. Uh, you know, the only thing that he doesn't really have is the height and the weight. Which that I don't think it matters a ton, you know. If you have the athleticism, I think that makes up for. It. You can always put on a little bit of weight. He's just not super tall, and you know, uh, that's not a big issue in my opinion. Uh, again, if you have that athleticism, athleticism, you can't really, you can't, you can't teach height and you know, at least you can't teach height, but you, you can't teach athleticism too. So it's really 
uh, good to see Brandon Coleman putting it together and helping out this young rookie quarterback. And the, the commanders still have a long ways to go in terms of, you know, filling out their roster because as good as they're, you know, as, as well as they're playing right now, like you look at the roster, they still need to add a lot of pieces. And it's really just Jaden Daniels is balling out and elevating everyone around him. And don't get me wrong, like the offensive line, Andrew Wiley has been balling out. Uh, Brandon Coleman, Cornelius Lucas, I mean, the whole offensive line, Tyler Biotish, Sam Cosme, Nick Allegretti, they've all been balling out. But like this team still can add another receiver. They can, you know, on defense, they have a lot of holes that they can address. But hitting on someone like Brandon Coleman in your first draft class by Adam Peters allows you to, okay, next year, maybe we don't need to draft a tackle in the first round. Maybe we can draft a cornerback or an edge rusher uh, to help out the defense. So that really is huge if you can start, if you hit on some of these picks. I mean, Jaden Daniels seems like a you know great pick. Brandon Coleman seems like a good pick. Luke McCaffrey seems like a good pick. The second rounders are still, you know, up in the air. We'll see how they play, you know, Johnny Newton coming off the injury, so still got to give him some time, but hasn't made a lot of plays. Mike Sanders still up and down, but I thought he had a solid game yesterday. And then um, Ben Sennett, he hasn't been getting, you know, a lot of uh, reps as a, or he hasn't been getting targets, but I think he's been good as a blocker. So I think his time will come, but real quick, we'll get into some, a clip or two from Brandon Coleman, but real quick, a word from today's sponsor. Hey, have you heard about NFL All Day? It's this really cool way to collect and own official NFL highlights. You get to collect some of the biggest plays in football, and now they've even added the top rookies from this year's draft, including Commander's starting quarterback, Jaden Daniels. Basically, you buy packs that contain moments, like a big touchdown or a game-changing interception, and each one is unique. They're all tied to the blockchain, so it's like owning a piece of NFL history that's totally yours. Plus, with the new rookie class just added, you could pull a moment from one of the league's rising stars right from the start. What's awesome is you can either hold on to them or trade and sell with other collectors. Some of the rare moments, especially those from breakout rookies, are exclusive, so it's about collecting what you love. It's also a fun way to stay connected to the future of the sport and there are always new challenges and events where you can earn even more moments it really feels like being part of the nfl community seriously now's the perfect time to jump in grab a pack see what you pull you might land a moment from one of the new rookies or even an iconic play from a superstar it's a fun way to be a part of the game and build your collection i opened a few packs and was able to pull Brian Mitchell and LeVar Arrington, as you saw, and you guys can see those moments. It was really cool, and also got Terry McLaurin and Brian Robinson moments as well, so I highly recommend you guys checking NFL All Day out. All right, so we're back again. Huge shout out to NFL All Day, but yeah, rookies overall played well in the game. Uh, show you guys a clip here from Brandon Coleman uh, helping on the touchdown to, uh, or by Jeremy McNichols and also shout out Jeremy McNichols, heck of a game, 26 yard run, had a, uh, for t or 27 yard run for touchdown, had another touchdown run. I mean, just a great game by, uh, the running back, the third running back on the squad. So want to give him his props because he had a great game. So here's a clip, just really pay attention to, uh, Pay attention to Coleman. Where is he? I think Bates is here. Senate's here. Coleman's right here. So just watch that. And I'm going to not talk because it does mess up the audio a little bit. And you see there, like he does slip a little bit, but he does do a good job setting the edge there and allowing uh, Jeremy McNichols to get there. And also... Uh, ben Sennett did a good job and John Bates too like those guys shout out to you see John Bates doing what he needs to do and then I want to see if there's on on the first clip let's watch Ben Sennett here like without that block he's probably getting down right here at the 20-22 so it still would have been a first down but like that's a that's a good block by Ben Sennett so I know 
we haven't necessarily seen the production in terms of receiving but the blocking is there and the receiving will come don't worry the receiving it, it'll happen at some point and he's learning behind uh you know zach Ertz, who should help him out you see what trade i mean we didn't see it yesterday because he was hurt but Trey, Trey mcbride has turned into one of the better tight ends in the league and he sat behind zach Ertz, was also a second round pick and you know he's also in the same room as john bates i'm not saying john bates is a stud but he's a good blocker and uh learning you know that from a or learning behind a good blocker and a good pass catcher one of the better pass catchers of our or my generation uh pass catching tight ends so uh, definitely want to give Ben Sennett that his props. Or, or, sorry, Ben Sennett his props. Uh, I know it's it looks like it's Sennett, but it is Sennett. And uh, yeah, Brandon Coleman made a nice play there. Uh, what else? Luke McCaffrey only had 17 yards on the day, but a really nice catch on a. It was a great ball by Jaden, but it was a tough catch. He makes the catch, and that was on like a third and ten or something. It, it was a big play. I mean, the game was already over, but you know what I'm saying. Like it wasn't a first and 10 and he gets 12 yards at least i don't think it was uh he it was a, it was a really good play by luke mccaffrey and he's been making a lot of tough catches in big moments like the fourth and one or whatever fourth and two whatever it was in the for and against the Bengals might have been more than fourth and whatever it was it was fourth down luke mccaffrey makes a huge catch Jaden daniels made a huge throw and he gets down to like the two yard line and he had a catch in the first game where he was down at the half yard line so he keeps getting close to scoring a touchdown and uh, he's been contributing you know there really hasn't been a clear wide receiver number two some weeks it looks like it's noah brown some weeks it looks like it's luke mccaffrey and some weeks it looks like zacchaeus like yesterday so we'll just have to wait and see who emerges but like you're going to think Luke McCaffrey is going to continue to get better and better. And uh, I'm just yeah, happy that one of the rookies is looking good. I mean, more than one of the rookies. I mean, we got Jaden looking good. Luke McCaffrey's been balling uh, for where he was drafted and his expectations. You know, a third round, late third round rookie that just switched to the position a couple years ago. And you got Brandon Coleman who's balling out. Uh, Jean Baptiste has been good as well. And then, you know, Jordan McGee maybe will, you know, come off IR soon. So they got they got some guys in this draft and we'll continue to see what happens with the second round picks as well. But yeah, that is that is it for today's video. If you guys stayed till the end, go ahead and comment down below Trent Williams. Not saying Brandon Coleman's Trent Williams, but it would be good to have someone similar to him there at left tackle for the next decade. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check out NFL All Day and peace.